Hey designers, I'm going to show you how to create a simple flip card interaction in Storyline. And I do mean simple, no variables were harmed in the production of this interaction. First, I'll show you what I built and then I'll show you how I built it. So here is my flip cards, click on them, any order, they animate to a flipped state. You can go back and flip them back. Easy peasy, right? Infinitely repeatable. You can do this over and over and over and over and over again. All right, I'll show you how I made it. Okay, so the basic cards are just shapes. I just did a simple outline with a simple drop shadow to make them pop a little bit more from the background and make them seem a little bit more like they are cards. I've got the base light and I've got three layers, okay? So the base slide is the unflipped and the layers are the back side of each card. And I do have the layer set, every single one, so that they do not hide the other slide layers. Storyline does default to hiding the other layers. Disable that for this scenario. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep going back to the unflipped state for the cards. All right, how I did this is pretty easy peasy. On the base layer, I've just got these three shapes. All these shapes do is have the unflipped text and they will show their layer, respective layer, when the user clicks. And then each of these three layers is identical except for the position of the flipped card, obviously. Um, what happens here, and this is the magic, is that you've got the, the flipped, the back side of the flipped card, the back side here, and each of them does have an entrance and exit swivel animation. It's only 0.25 seconds, so it's really, really quick. And what happens here on this layer is that the, the full layer is only two seconds long. See down here on the timeline? And the layer will automatically pause when the timeline reaches 1.75. So when this layer appears, the swivel animation goes into effect. It shows the back side of the flip card and then the layer automatically pauses at 1.75 seconds. When the user clicks on this, onto the flip card itself, it will resume the timeline on this layer. And this is also set so the, the layer will hide when the timeline ends on this layer, okay? So there's only three triggers. The timeline's gonna pause at 1.75 when the user clicks, the timeline will resume and that means that exit animation will play and then the layer will hide, okay? So each of these layers is exactly the same and the beauty of having the layers set so they don't hide the other layers is that um, you can do any or all of the cards you can flip any and all of them and they'll just stay however they were and they won't hide the other layers so I'll show you that one more time you can click these and again it's bringing up the layer for each one of these and the layer is where all the magic happens there's one more thing I didn't show you to make sure everything's really clean and pretty I actually have this invisible shape behind each of these objects oops on the layer this is just a white rectangle it's filled white and has no border and that's just to make sure because the layer is transparent to the base layer that's just to make sure that the base layer doesn't show again for this particular unflipped card until the animation completes so i've got that invisible invisible shape on each of these and that's just so that um the back the unflipped <laughs> card is hidden until this completes its animation and the layer hides. So that's it. That's the whole thing. I hope that made sense and it looks pretty simple. Again, no variables required. I didn't do a couple of triggers. Um, but otherwise, pretty simple interaction and super fun.